So we want to take this Welsh plug out. We've got to change all the Welsh plugs. And the idea is we're going to hit it with a screwdriver, try and get it to flick around like a coin, and remove it with the pliers. So we'll just get the driver in there. So the idea is you flick it round, and then you withdraw it. And you can see here uh, where it's corroded at the bottom. This is a mild steel Welsh plug. I've always made it practice to put in brass ones because you don't get the problems with them. All things considered, it actually looks quite clean in there. Okay, so it's time to do the Welsh plugs now. We've steam cleaned the engine. It looks nice and clean in here, but we just want to make sure that it's uh, good to go on the inside where the Welsh plug is going to seal. This is just 120 grit wet and dry. Give it a bit of a skirmish around there. Make sure it's all good and nice and clean and smooth. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a brass welch plug and to knock these in you'd use a socket. And you have to make sure it's reasonably snug but you don't want it too tight in there because as you push the plug in it's going to contract around the socket and you'll get it jammed. To seal it we used healer. This stuff is used for bolts that go into water jackets such as cylinder head bolts, um, water pump bolts, stuff like that. It seals around the thread to stop any water escaping and also corroding the bolt, but it doesn't act like a thread lock in that it doesn't, um, it doesn't lock the thread as such. When you go to undo the bolt, it'll just shatter and come out nice and easy. So I'll just put a bit around here and a bit in here. I'm sure Mr. Peaky uses this stuff, being hold and seal. This stuff's reasonably expensive, around $35, $40 a tin, but it'll last you 20 years. Drop the plug on, and then you lock it home. You want to make sure it's flush around the edges, and if it's all good, it'll sit nice. I've actually got some muck on the socket from the socket on there, but that is sorted.